hey guys what's up so let us continue our course on how to approach economics and here we will deal with the detailed analysis of syllabus this is presented by me your friend roman saini so whenever we talk about an approach to a subject we read the syllabus first then we go through the previous year question papers then we identified our limited sources we do a target study we either go for coaching notes or self notes we do a revision strategy and then we practice and then we repeat the entire process so like shorthand notes plus current affairs plus economic survey this is for static portion this is for dynamic portion this is for both so if you do these three things you will 100% get uh, almost 80% marks in economy so make a set of notes for efficient revision and notes should include the statistics timeline graph so that you can memorize easily and please remember that without economic survey it is very difficult to understand economy and it is indispensable because it will help develop a better understanding it is a high yield area because no various questions are asked directly from it now when prelim syllabus they just talk about economic and social development sustainable development poverty inclusion demographics social sector initiatives etc so now let us elaborate upon this syllabus so economic and social development sustainable development poverty inclusion demographic social sector then economic growth development finance banking budget balance of payments now a lot of issues related to poverty population composition related characters social sector initiatives related to education health sanitation international financial institutions like world bank etc now key focus area includes economic growth and development now basic concept definition of economy and economics uses and transfer of resources distributive effects macro and micro economic policy distributive impact of economic policies development versus growth determinants of growth and development key concepts and indices like hdi gem gdi gii green index sustainable development so lot of index are there like uh, multi dimensional poverty index and so on and so forth in poverty we include definitions causes distribution and deprivation income versus calorie debate like how it should be calculated measurement of poverty status of poverty eradication programs poverty and resource policy tribal rights and issues livelihood mission and in inclusion it include definition relevance types of financial inclusion recent initiatives etc in demographics it include census data population by gender by state by age group socio economic status caste religion literacy levels trends in human development interest rate comparison etc now in fiscal policy it includes definition component receipts revenue capital account tax revenue expenditure budget all these are very very important areas which you need to mug up then health policy education policy sanitation drinking water social security infrastructure policy international trade issues regional cooperation and then also focus on things which are currently in news especially like make in india campaign industrial corridors niti aayog mgnrgs mcme black money demonetization international treaties and organization india's policy with neighbors other issues and then we talk about the main syllabus that is the gs3 economics portion so it deals with indian economy and issues related to planning mobilization of resources growth development employment inclusive growth and issues arising from it very very important government budgeting how it is done major cropping patterns in different parts of the country though it can include in geography as well transport and marketing of agricultural produce apmc act issues associated and constraints of e technology then direct and indirect farm subsidies minimum support price msps pds objectives public distribution system functioning limitations issues of buffer stock food security economics of animal rearing technology missions food processing related industry land reforms effects of liberalization on the economy changes in industrial policy their effects on industrial growth energy ports airports railways investment models etc now there are a lot of uh, things which you can read ncert from 9 to 12th indian economy ramesh singh sanjeev verma ministry websites economic survey budget arc commission reports pib newspapers so whenever we talk about strategy always remember having syllabus limited books and revision and practice is the key so thank you and do rate review and recommend hey guys what's up so let us understand the art of making effective notes when it comes to economy okay it is very very important to understand this art otherwise it is not possible for you to make like detailed notes and uh, not able to you will not be able to revise at the end of the uh, exam so it is very difficult to revise the subject without one's own notes that is there are too many facts too many sources to go through and please just write keywords like ease of doing business etc phrases summaries like always you will need to focus on keywords you will need to focus on 
uh, highlights important data bold italics all these things because it is uh, virtually impossible to like uh, make good pre-see otherwise you have to focus on potential fodder material this is also really really important then you have to focus on current and flagship government schemes in very detail huge details are needed for that especially their provisions beneficiaries enablers responsibility targets etc all these uh, needs to be taken into consideration you have to ask question to better learn and remember the syllabus so uh, if it is not possible then you rather uh, not study economics but if you do study then focus on these things for potential fodder material means like whatever it can help you to write good answer in mains and interview and uh, in essay also and uh, especially the flagship government scheme jandhan yojana and all these ujala and ode desh kaam nagarik all these schemes they become really really important please remember the syllabus otherwise you will not be able to make good quality notes so you will have to read like around five schemes will come from the last one decade mjnrgs this will be independent of the government 10 to 20 important schemes from the news last year like jandhan yojana and demonetization and all these things 10 to 15 schemes are covered in the india yearbook so you can go through their summary especially summary at least 10 to 15 important schemes are covered in economic survey yojana and you don't need to read kurukshetra but if you read it then you might cover something but that the roi is really really bad so i will not recommend you reading kurukshetra there is a huge overlap between the above sources obviously so the total number of schemes will come out to 40 50 and uh, these are the only schemes that are really important for prelims mains and interview but to arrive to these 40 50 schemes you'll need to read a lot more okay so let us see uh, topic is a stand up india so how your note should look like this is how your note should look like so one is startup india one is stand up india so it will support the entrepreneurship and schedule caste schedule tribe and females so for setting up new enterprises a loan will be given from rupees 10 lakh to 1 crore you will have rupee debit card plus pre loan training plus facilitating loans plus factoring and marketing then you will have to develop the credit history of these under banked section of the society then you will have to do refinance through sidb that is small industries development bank of india and initial corpus will be rupees 10000 crores so this is how a good high quality notes of stand up india will look like so you see everything is covered you can literally revise it in 5 seconds before the examination you can write an awesome answer in the mains examination based on this input and like literally you can do anything if you follow this see another on slr statutory liquidity ratio it is imposed on all the commercial banks by rbi objective is to reserve wealth in banks enable government to raise money by issuing security it contains gold cash government securities okay indian innovation banking sector and 20% of net demand and time liabilities again like you can see very crystal clear crisp notes high quality notes everything in prelims mains and interview is taken care of if you make such quality notes this is called as notes don't write paragraphs don't write stories don't write car uh, crap don't write garbage it will not help you just write what i'm trying you to tell uh, what i'm trying to tell you here is write good points high quality points from which the questions can arise let's say poverty line committees you have to make so lots of information scattered throughout the internet and it will really take you up a lot of time and energy to go through all the official documents and it will take up lot of your time to remember it will be impossible to revise even if you have all the documents so just make a table and write all the possible heads that you can revise it in 5 10 minutes lakadwala committee tendulkar committee rangrajan committee saxena committee Uh, based on dietary requirements it is based on monthly per capita consumption mixed reference period here it is modified mixed reference period and it has five indicators community land ownership occupation education and old age and illness so if you just remember this table it will be really really beneficial to you so let's say uh, just ask questions and always take care of the contingencies for example if you are reading atal pension yojana so what is this it is basically a pension scheme floated by the government who is the target for this target is citizens especially the unorganized sector what is the age of joining this 18 to 40 years what is the age of maturity of this 60 years any earlier scheme which was merged with this is swavalamban yojana so if you ask right questions you will get the right answers and this is how a high quality good notes will look like then let us see the gross domestic product so what is gross, gross domestic product uh so total amounts of goods and services produced within the country in one year okay what are the types one is nominal other is real nominal does not include inflation real always include inflation 
वट आर दी मैथड्स ऑफ कैलकुलेशन लॉड ऑफ मैथड एक्सपेंडिचर मैथड इनकम मैथड प्रोडक्शन मैथड एंड मैथड विच इंडिया कॉमनली यूज इनकम इनकम इंडिया इंडिया इनकम आई एन आई एन सो वेयर इज द टर्म बजट यूज इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ओके सो यू विल हैव टू रिमेंबर सच एक्सेप्शन नो वेयर दट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन यूज इज द टर्म एनुअल फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इन आर्टिकल वन हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व इज अटल योजना ओनली फॉर द अनऑर्गनाइज सेक्टर नो इट इज स्पेशली फॉर द अनऑर्गनाइज सेक्टर बट नॉट जस्ट फॉर इट सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द एक्सेप्शन एज वेल सो दैट इज हाउ यू मेक हाई क्वालिटी नोट्स थैंक यू